Hey guys, so today I want to show you how I do my messy, curly pineapple bun. I get a lot of questions about this bun because my hair is literally always in it. It's super comfortable and easy. It's so simple and quick that this video almost feels pointless, but there are a couple tricks that I use that I want to show you. Trick number one is that this bun works best on day two or three curls, when there's some product in the hair and it's not squeaky clean. Take a comb like this and start teasing your hair a little bit. This is to get it bigger and a little thicker. And the end result is going to look different depending on your hair length. Right now my hair is way longer than I normally have it, so it's going to look a little different than normal. But yeah, the goal here is really just to get your hair thicker and bigger. Have a hair tie ready on your wrist. Next, flip your hair over and shake out the roots with your fingers. Sometimes when we put product in our hair, it makes our hair lay too close to the scalp. So shake it out and put some life back into those roots. Now take your hair like you're going to make a ponytail on the very top of your head. Take the hair tie and wrap it around once and pull the hair through, leaving the ends of the hair out. So the rest of these are optional details. I like to add more hairspray to the bun sometimes to hold it together better. If the hair in the back is super messy, you can bobby pin it. And for a cleaner look, you can style the edges of your hair. I'm just doing a little bit of gel this time and brushing them up. You can add more gel or even pin the sides of your hair for a cleaner, tighter look. So now just play with the bun until you get the look that you want. Shape it and begin to pull some curls out to frame your face. If your hair is shorter, you can leave some short curls out in the beginning for this. And if it's longer, like mine is right now, you can pull on the curls that are sticking out beneath the bun. And it'll look like you have some cute curly bangs, even if you really don't. For the back of the bun, you can either pull the curls out a little bit like I did here, or you can pin them up into the bun to have more of a circular, tight look. But I really like the look of messy, cascading curls. And that's it! That's how I do my messy, curly, cascading pineapple bun. Thanks for watching! Thank you.